Hello, this is Steve Equals True with Excel Dashboard Templates.com. Please visit our website, Excel Dashboard Templates.com, in order to get the latest video tutorials for all your dashboarding needs. Today we had a, an Excel user in a forum looking for a chart that looked like this. I don't know what to call it other than a horizontal tornado chart is uh, how I dubbed it. Uh, there's a couple of features for this. They wanted to group four companies and their uh, current year's performance with their last year's performance. And the sketch that the client wanted looked very similar to this. They wanted uh, the current year above and the previous year below. And also, you'll notice over here in the uh, vertical axis, uh, the primary vertical axis, we have positive numbers over here. We don't have negative numbers. So the person in the forum was unsure how to do this, so let me go ahead and show you how we do that. Um, what we have here is we have their data that they had set up in the sample, uh, and it's got the uh, January, it's got four different companies. Uh, we have February, four different companies, and their data for year 2012 and 2011. Not sure if uh, they knew how to set up the data right, so that was the first step in this process. Is um, What we're going to do is we're going to put in January here first, we're going to leave just blanks below it. Um, what this is going to do is create a grouping in our chart, and it's going to group company 1, 2, 3, and 4 under January, and we're going to have years 2001 and 2000, 2012 and 2011 uh, in the next columns. So what we want to do in order to show this, um, as you can kind of see from the previous picture, um, we have positive numbers and we have negative numbers. So that's really how we want to set this up. But most most of the times you're not having negative sales, you're having positive sales. So we need to create a chart area where we actually change um, this positive number to a negative. All right, so what we want to do is over here in 2012, pretty simple, we just want to make this equal to C2, we'll hit enter. And over here in I2, we want this to equal the negative value of D2. And I'm going to highlight both of those regions and we're going to copy this down. Now I'm going to copy it all the way down and I'm going to come back in here and delete uh, the places where we won't have data. The reason I've got this, these lines in here are because uh, we want to show this as a grouped chart when we do it in Excel. Uh, so I'm going to highlight from F1 down to F15, or I'm sorry, I15. I'm going to go up to my insert ribbon. I'm going to do a 2D column chart, which is right there. Click on OK. Now, this is getting us close to what we want. You can see here from the sample. Uh, this has company one, company two, three, and four in January. It has the grouping as well. Um, and they're just offset a little bit. And so what we want to do is we want to right click on the uh, prior year series. We want to format the data series. I'm going to go, and go ahead and move this over to the secondary axis. Now, whoa, that doesn't look like what we were wanting to do. Um, it's because it's put that secondary axis up here at the top um, for the negative numbers, and you can see they're negative over here. If I just click on this right-hand uh, vertical axis, hit my delete key, it now groups them uh, on the same axis, and it puts them uh, right under each other. Uh, now, one other thing I want to point out on this chart uh, before we move on, as you see these vertical lines here for the groupings, um, if what I did to do that is there is a space right over here, and if I hit the delete key on each one of those spaces, you'll see that line isn't grouped. It's, it knows when the next one starts, but it didn't know where the previous one ended, even though we have a blank row in there. So if you come in here um, on the F column and do a space, you'll see it added that right there. We come down here right before March, we do a space. It thinks that that's a new grouping, um, however it has no data, so it makes that line a little longer and I like it just to make it group those sections a little more. Now the only other thing we need to do is we need to make these negative numbers positive. We click, right click on that vertical axis, format axis. We want to go to the number submenu over here and then in the category we want to choose custom. Now I've already set this one up, but what you want to do is in this format code here, you want to type this custom format. It's pound, comma, pound, pound, zero, semicolon, and then repeated. So this first part here is the positive numbers. This after the first semicolon is the negative numbers. 
since we don't have a negative sign in here, you can see if I put a negative sign and click on add, it adds that negative over here in our vertical axis. Um, if I come back in here and I get rid of it, click on add, you'll see that it gets rid of the negatives value, numbers uh, sign for the negative values in the vertical axis. So there we have it, um, a couple of neat little tricks. Please don't forget to visit my blog, exceldashboardtemplates.com. Sign up as a user and we'll get you some great discounts on some future products that are coming out, as well as uh, you'll get the latest video and sample tutorials for your Excel dashboards. Thanks again, this is Steve True from exceldashboardtemplates.com.